hey what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel hope everybody is doing well uh today i want to give you guys a little quick update i know it's been like about two weeks since i uploaded the video but as you can see i finished my uh my kill team i want to say i finished painting my kill team getting them together to the level that i like and whatnot of which i will be showing off to you guys today but before we get into that we have to talk about the lego build of the day so for this build we have the atat 75288 this atat actually had 1267 pieces took me a few days to build i couldn't build it all in one day no more than about two packs a day um but very fun build actually my first build that's over a thousand pieces so um yeah it was pretty fun to build and i also wanted to have an atat so in the back behind me you will see it displayed um, alongside any other builds that i have now getting into my my little my little squad here that i have um obviously as we all know warhammer is a pretty large base you know tabletop game you have you know who knows how many units a thousand points 1500 points some games with 2000 points you know so that's a lot of units and that's a lot of miniatures to build and paint and get you know battle ready and whatnot um, but then there's other games like Kill Team or, or, or War Cry, I believe that's the other one. Um, but I'm primarily focused on Kill Team. But you have other games like those that are more small, smaller squad-based type games. Um, and those are games that I think I actually enjoy more where every roll really matters. Like literally every roll really matters. Um, and if you don't get your kills or, you know, you're not getting your points or whatever, then that can literally turn a tide. Like one roll, one turn can turn a tide of the entire match. Um, and I like that. I just feel more connected to the squad and the ones that I've created on my roster to go into this battle um, of kill team and stuff. So I think moving forward, I'm actually going to start playing and indulging more into kill team um, and creating and as well as buying my units based off of, you know, my kill team game mindset. Um, so that's something that I'm going to do moving forward but these guys is is, is going to be my, my starting base there's nine models here right we have five uh assault intercessors as well as four devastated units um or long fangs because i do really enjoy the space wolves that is kind of like my primary faction although all right although i have been looking into cadians um i think they're actually pretty damn cool i really like how they're more uh, not different but i would say they're more related to um, you know our army and like infantry and stuff in like the modern day as of today, you know um, I don't know there's something about that kind of resonates with me I just feel a little bit more connected to that as opposed to Superhuman ultramarines, which I do find super badass and stuff But yeah, I don't know I might probably in in the future might be moving towards some uh, You know some Cadians and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated but um, yes besides that I did actually pick up a combat patrol for the Space Wolves, um, primarily because of the units, obviously, that are in it. You get uh, 10 intercessors, of course, and you get a group of uh, like five, I don't know, like guys with swords and stuff, uh, wolf guard. I'm not 100% sure which units they are, but you also get a dreadnought as well. So I was like, dude, how can I pass up on that many miniatures, especially for my army? Um, Especially if I'm going to be switching, you know, units in and out for whenever I'm trying to get a certain vibe going for a kill team. Who knows? You know, I, I just wanted to go off that way. But I will be sticking with the Space Wolves as far as the foreseeable future, of course. Um, and I quite, I quite dearly do enjoy them. I'm going to post some photos up on Instagram of these little guys all built, obviously, and painted and put up there. And it actually took me quite a while to paint them. When I first decided to do the scheme... I had one miniature that took me about three hours just to paint. One. One miniature. Three hours. Um, and I think that was my fault for being a little bit too, like, perfect and stuff. I did tell myself I didn't want to be so perfect with painting the miniatures. But, like, once you start painting them, you're just like, dude, I, I kind of want, want this guy to look good. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. I kind of, like, pulled back from that a little bit. I got my general scheme down. And I took that and ran with it. So that's something I'm going to be sticking with. Um... But yeah, I, I really can't wait to, to use them in Kill Team. Um, and I'm, I want to showcase some, some tabletop gameplay of that. Once I figure out how to do all that stuff, I'm actually gonna give me a little war table that I'm gonna design um, and show you guys. It could just be a puzzle table, but you know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna get something like that and uh, probably see how I can get you guys some gameplay on some, on some tabletop. So I'm pretty excited about that, man. The future holds so much and uh, it's gonna be so fun. And I really enjoy 
Warhammer, obviously, just like many of you out there, you know, I really enjoy it. So I wanted to uh, definitely be something that I indulge in quite often, if not every single day that I have the time. So, uh, yes, with that being said, thank you for watching this video. I will keep you guys updated again. Um, and if you aren't following me on Instagram, go ahead. That is JB Great. I post a lot of, well, I will start posting more, obviously, of my Warhammer stuff and just anything else that I, you know, seem to find interesting. So, yes, until then, I'll see you all in the next video.